So a quick video here. We got a century refrigeration unit. Uh, we had some storms go through uh, a while back. Lost a compressor. Uh, I don't know the full story. I didn't find any of this. I'm just back now. They put the canoe compressor in and they were having some issues. They thought that the breaker feeding the unit was bad. I'm not sure exactly the diagnostics or who did it or what they were reading, but I do have three phase coming in and three phase coming out of my disconnect. They were saying the contactor would pull in and out and they were dropping voltage. I think they were reading dropped voltage from the phase monitor. So P5, 6, and 7 is the load to the phase monitor and it comes out of the compressor contactor. You can see I've got my compressor isolated right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on because I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. Uh, omen across my legs. First of all, one of my legs was closed. So I was single phasing whenever we would kick power in. That's probably why it happened immediately when they would turn power on. One leg was closed. I got to messing with it. The leg opened and now I've got, actually it won't close now. I was reading in between them, I had 10 ohms across this leg here of the compressor contactor. The other two seemed okay. And then I went back to try to push it in again and I got no resistance. So this contactor is jacked up inside. Uh, I'm gonna try to take the cover off, but we can see we got good phase now. I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna wait for this guy to cycle because I'm assuming as soon as that contactor pulls in and it sees one leg gone on the outlet side or the load side, it's gonna protect your compressor and it's going to shut everything down. And I have a feeling that's what was happening. I'm not gonna push the contactor in. I'm gonna wait for it to do it on its own because I just wanna watch. I, I gotta figure out the contactor issue. You got auxiliary switches, so I, I'm not sure about that yet. I'm just trying to diagnose the problem. It seems like everything else is gonna be okay. Looking at the compressor, uh, it's all wired right. It, it looks, looks good. I had to see exactly how everything was orientated. Oh, come on. I just set it back on there so I wouldn't lose it. The wind is kicking up here today. But it looks like we're 460. So we're looking at it this way. And you got one, two, and three. And then the other uh, four, seven, five, eight, six, nine are all jump. But you can see that's gonna be four, seven, five, eight, blah, 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 and then one, two, and three down here. So all that looks normal. And I think we've solved our problem. If it'll try to pull in, I don't know. I gotta figure all this out, the controls. This is the first time I've looked at this unit. They do have, well, that's what saved us through this whole process is there's another one over there that's still running and able to maintain temperature. So we're gonna see what we got going on. I'm gonna have to poke through here and see if I can get that contactor to pull in. They said it was happening immediately, so I know that's what was happening. They had a leg closed. They were single phasing and the phase monitor was sensing it and trying to save the compressor. Uh, I don't know if they actually, the, the storm that I'm assuming came through and killed the compressor may have damaged the breaker. It may have not, maybe this was the issue the whole time, I'm not sure, but that's where we're at. We're gonna figure it out, get that contactor to pull in without pushing it in. Although I shouldn't hurt anything. I just gotta, oh, there it goes. Actually went on its own. And then you got a fault. Fault says load phase loss, fault zero one. That's because even though my contactor's pulled in, I'm missing a leg of power. And the fault pulled the contactor out. But that's my problem. Get the contactor replaced. We'll get rid of our load fault. And compressor ought to be all right. We just need to get uh, some more refrigerant in it from what I'm told. When they got done with the compressor, they dumped what refrigerant they could. So we got to kind of go from there. It actually kept the load energized this time you can see 200 volts 
that's on that leg this leg here which is the one I'm missing because here I'm gonna have 480 or 470 ish and I ain't getting it out so there's your problem I gotta find that contactor so I still haven't actually you can't really see the contacts but I can see the burn marks it's all ate up but that center contact was a good one actually I still have a little bit of I'm not pushing in all the way either but 0 9 ohms I had 10 ohms across this contact when I checked it in place but actually what I'm finding now is I'm completely open so that contacts ate up inside there I gotta tear this apart a little more to exact see what exactly happened inside but we're not making contact so we got a new contactor in and we're gonna see if this works a little better this way I have a feeling it might so now we've got a contactor pulled in there goes condenser fan there's the leg we were missing Yeah, we're gonna have our legs now. I might have to, gotta get charging. I might have to get that guy, the other one, put in defrost. But we got frost, we got good oil sight. Actually, clear right now on the liquid line. Uh, I need to get probes and everything else up here and, you know, make sure everything's correct. I just hooked my gauges up and I don't know. This is 507 so I'm not sure what the saturation temps are I have to check all that but nonetheless this looks pretty good all seems okay we're gonna get charge in it and kind of go from there um, I'm not gonna record the rest I just thought this would be kind of interesting when I found it uh, phase monitor is good now contactor is good I might have to tear this thing apart a little more and see I'm gonna hang on to it it'll be good for uh, demonstration purposes so anyways that was a quick one i'm gonna get this guy finished up and leave the trade better than you find it i'll see y'all next time